what is this mysterious and new respiratory infection that is sweeping across the northern part of China? To tell us more on this, we're being joined by Dr. Isaac Bogat, who is in fact an infectious diseases physician and a scientist. He's joining us from Toronto. Now, Dr. Bogat, there are these spate of infections that have been reported from northern China. They've been variously described as mysterious kind of pneumonia or some respiratory illnesses. What do you make of these reports that are doing the rounds? Yeah, I mean, for starters, much of the world was aware of this on November 21st when it was reported on uh, a global infectious disease surveillance website called ProMed Mail. And of course, you know, said without any xenophobia, said of course without any racism, which we have to avoid when we're talking about this. But when you hear respiratory illness, unclear what the diagnosis is, China, emerging infections, you know, obviously, the world gets concerned. We've just been through a terrible pandemic. We also remember 2003 where SARS emerged from. But on November 23rd, the World Health Organization had direct contact with Chinese health authorities in which the Chinese health authorities said, yes, we're definitely having a rise in, this, in these respiratory illnesses, but these are known pathogens. This is influenza, this is COVID, this is respiratory syncytial virus, this is mycoplasma infections, which are known pathogens. We're just seeing a big rise of it in the first winter after lifting our public health measures. And people watching might remember that the same thing happened in many North uh, Hemisphere countries, including the one I'm sitting in, Canada. We had the same thing happen last winter uh, after we lifted many of our COVID-19 measures. Uh, we had a, a, a very large rise in pediatric illness and pediatric hospitalizations. It's very likely to be the same issue in China. Now, uh, according to the reports, this is what is being said, that most of those who are taking ill due to this new infection are young children. Now, how concerned would you be as a physician about this? Obviously, anytime we hear that anyone's getting sick, we're concerned. Of course, when we're, we're hearing about children getting sick, we're concerned. And we've sadly been through this. And it was, it was very tough. It was very challenging. So by no means would we want to say, oh, it's just a rise of infections after lifting COVID measures, nothing to see here. No, that's still a big deal, because at the end of the day, you have a lot of children that are getting sick, many of whom are requiring emergency care and hospital care, and you have to be able to care for your population. You, want, you don't want ill on anybody, and I wish everybody impacted has a very speedy and complete recovery. Indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Dr. Isaac Bukat, for joining us and getting us that update there. My pleasure. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.